Hey there, I'm Joe Carter. If you've ever popped the hood and thought, where do I even start? You're in good company. Around here, we take the mystery out of car repair, one fix at a time. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to sharpen your skills, there's something here for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're into learning without the headaches. All right, that's enough from me. Let's get into it. types of DPDZ the throttle position sensor generates an electrical signal corresponding to the angle of opening of the air damper. The readings are necessary for correct operation of the controller, ECU. This signal, together with data from other sensors, is used by the controller to generate fuel injection pulses and spark formation. It is mounted on the throttle body on the side opposite to the air damper actuator. Its movable element is mechanically connected with the damper axis. Film resistive represents an ordinary potentiometer. Their motor resource reaches 50,000 kilometers of mileage, non-contact, magnetoresistive. The principle of operation is based on the Hall effect. Fail-safe operation time depends only on the quality of performance of the mechanical part of the device. Costs a device of this type, of course, much more expensive than film resistive. Malfunction symptoms checking the throttle position sensor is necessary in the following cases, deterioration of acceleration dynamics. Increased, decreased, or unstable crankshaft speed at idle. Jerking when driving on a smooth road with constant pressure on the accelerator pedal. Engine stopping in neutral. Engine stopping during gear shifting. Engine does not develop maximum power. Causes of malfunctions The main causes of failure of the film-resistive DPDZ are mechanical wear of the resistive layer and the potentiometer. Slider, as well as ingress of dirt on the working surface. There are also two causes of failures in magnetoresistive sensors, failure of the moving unit and failure of the electronic converter. Of magnetic signals into DC voltage. Checking the throttle position sensor Checking the throttle position sensor on the example of VAZ2110. Preliminary actions, close the throttle valve. Turn on the ignition. Check the voltage value at the output of the device with a voltmeter. It should be no more than 0.7V. Its output is determined very simply, two wires under the ground and power supply, and the third, respectively, under the output. Measure the value of the voltage at the output when the damper is fully open. It should be at least 4V. Check the change of voltage at the output when opening and closing the flap. The voltage should change smoothly, without jumps. If the results of your measurements coincide with those described above, your sensor is serviceable. If anything is different, you need to buy a serviceable one. Failure of this sensor is recorded in the controller's memory. In this case, the check engine inscription usually starts to light up. The engine is put into emergency mode, designed only to drive to the workshop, which further increases discomfort when driving the car, as well as increases fuel consumption. Sensor replacement. The location of the internal pressure sensor on the example of VAZ2110 replacing the remote control does not require disconnecting. The battery, because it is de-energized when the ignition is turned off. Therefore, just turn off the ignition. Carefully squeezing the stopper, remove the connector from the sensor. Unscrew the sensor mounting screws and remove the sensor. When installing a new sensor, first carefully align the end of the flap axle with the seat. Then, rotate the sensor to align the holes in the sensor with the holes in the damper housing. Screw in the fastener and tighten it. Do not forget to put on the connector. All that remains is to erase the error from the controller's memory. In conclusion, checking and replacing the throttle position sensor is a straightforward process that can significantly improve your vehicle's performance. By recognizing the signs of malfunction, such as poor acceleration or erratic idling, you can take proactive steps to address the issue. Measuring the voltage with a multimeter allows you to confirm whether the sensor is functioning correctly. If you find that it needs replacement, following the proper steps ensures a smooth installation. Remember, maintaining your throttle position sensor is essential for optimal engine performance and fuel efficiency. 
Thank you for watching, and we hope this guide has been helpful in keeping your vehicle running smoothly.